All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call him like La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say, Shalom to Akim out there that's pushing the truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom to the hopeful elect, Shalom to 144,000. Okay, so this lesson is going to be titled, How Was He Numbered Among the Saints? Okay, How Was He Numbered Among the Saints? And that is re uh, regarding to the scripture of Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. All right, and actually, that's what I'm going to open up with. Okay, because we're in an underdog story, you know, and um, us as men of the Lord, you know, you know, we're counted out, you know, we're not looked, we're not looked at as, you know, you know, um, mighty, you know, as, as being the best of the best, you know, but it's okay right now because right, you know, right now we're going through the uh, stage of humility and, and as the scriptures say, before honor comes, excuse me, before, before, um, honor, you know, there is a uh, uh, humility. Okay. So right, so right now, you know, we're in that stage of humility before we get that, that fame, you know, that eternal glory. Okay. So right now, according to the, the ways of this world, you know, we're the underdogs, you know, we're the ones that's, you know, that that's counted out. Okay. So without further ado, we're going to get that uh, precept and wisdom of Simon five. All right. And Lord's will, you, uh, you were edified. The Lord's sheep is edified. Okay. So starting off, this is Wisdom of Solomon 5, and I'll start from verse 1, okay? It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of... Actually, I'm, I'm curious to see what this says in the GNT. I want to read in the GNT, you know, because sometimes, you know, the GNT is more of a uh, straightforward, you know, um, straightforward... Uh, 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 meaning okay, so GNT wisdom of Solomon. Five, all right. Now, this is the GNT of, of wisdom of Solomon five, and the ledger it says the, reg the regrets of the wicked. Okay, now it says on that day. Someone righteous, full of confidence, will stand before those who oppressed him and made light of his labors, right? And, and that's us, the brothers out here. You know, the, the ones that, you know, are, you know, the ones that, you know, um, uh, 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 are constantly in the bottom. You know, the ones that, you know, that, that get the short, end of the, the short end of the stick, the ones that are, are overlooked. That's us, you know. Verse 2, and it says... And, uh, excuse me, uh, my bad, uh, back at verse one. And it says, we'll stand before those who are oppressed and right. And who's oppressing us? We know starting off with Esau, Edom, you know, that, you know, that's the main culprit. Okay. And then on top of that too, you got, you know, females out here, you know, these women, you know, they're, you know, they're wicked, man. You know, you know, they're, they're basically, they're oppressing us too, you know, because just like the, the scriptures say, the Lord shall put a new thing in the earth that a man, shall, shall, excuse me, that a woman shall get past a man. You know, that's why right now you have you have females, you know, over over men right now, you know, you know, you know, these these women are put in a pedestal. OK, you know, uh, they're worshipped. All right. And actually, since, since it says that. in that scripture, let's go to get this quick precept just to land back on that. Isaiah three and verse 12, when it says, as for my people, children are their oppressors and the women rule over them. Right. So right now. You know, especially the you know the uh the black woman, you know, you know, you know, she thinks that she's, you know, you know, just, you know, you know that that her shit don't stink, okay? You know, they don't see you know us as part you know of of you know of them, you know, they don't see us you know um. Really, what I'm trying to say is that the black woman don't look at you know the so-called you know the the black man or there's like man. You know, as as her counterpart, you know, that's why, you know, they, you know, she uh 
walk around like you don't exist. You know, she walk around as if you're invisible, you know, and, you know, and as a whole, you know, that's all women, you know, as a whole, you know, these women on this side, you know, they're just, they're, they're proud, you know, they're, 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 you know, they, they got the head stuck up with their ass, you know, and that's why the Lord is going to, as it says in the book of Isaiah 13 and verse 11, it says that the, uh, the Lord is going to cause, you know, the, the arrogancy of the, of the proud to cease. Okay. And it says, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Okay. So back in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 2, and it says, they will be amazed to see him safe and will tremble with terrible fear. Then they will regret what they did and groaning in anguish, they will see, they will say to each other, this is the one we made fun of. We thought he was a joke. What fools we were. We, we thought he was crazy to live the way he did. And when he died, we didn't honor him. Right. So, you know, uh, uh, once we're delivered, you know, oh, you know, once we're, you know, once we get that power, you know, once we, you know, get exalted, you know, people are going to, you know, uh, regret, you know, looking at us differently, you know, in a, in a wrongful manner. They going to regret, you know, treating us wrong and treating us like, you know, like we're under them. OK, people, you know, because people are soon going to know that true prophets, true men, true men of the Lord were among them. OK, and that's why the, the, that's why how I said that the uh, servant is not greater than the master because, you know, uh, people looked at how shy, you know, like he wasn't nothing, you know, especially our people. OK, you know, the, the two, the, the, the uh, two third Jews. OK, they wanted to kill you. How shy they despise you. How shy, you know. People thought that Yahweh Shai wasn't the son of Yahweh, okay? But but as soon as, you know, he, he gave up the ghost, they, you know, they finally, you know, came, you know, it, you know uh, they, they finally came to their senses and said, oh, wait, this is truly the son of the Most High Yahweh, okay? So people are going to, you know, uh, regret, you know, treating us wrong. People are, are going to get confounded very, very soon, okay? And it says, verse 5, it says, and now here he is, one of the Most High's own children, with with the place of his, with the place of his own, among God's children. Oh, excuse me, among God's people. Okay, real quick. I'm now. Now let's go to the KJV and read that verse. Oh, excuse me, my bad. Let me go to the back to this app. All right, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse um I'll start at verse uh three and it says, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had some times of derision and a proverb of approach, right? You know, the same guys that you that you looked down upon, that you that that you you know stepped over and didn't regard. You see, verse four, we fools counted his life madness. And it's end to be without honor, right? You know, so they think that, you know, uh, uh, they think that, you know, we're not going to gain anything. You know, you know, they think that, you know, because of the works that we do, you know, you know, and it's truth, they think that, you know, it's vain. They, they think that, you know, we're not going to uh, uh, um, gain more in the long run. But little do they know, you know, we're doing you know, the best service, you know, known to man. Okay. You know, we know we're doing the best service, you know, here on earth, man. Okay. This is the best service that you can do. Okay. You know, the serving, serving your how about small shy because anything else outside that is vain. All right. Verse five. Here's the point. The point of the lesson. It says, how is he numbered among the children of the most high and his lot is among the saints. Right. So they're going to be confounded, you know, because, they're not going to expect, you know, any, you know, average Joe, you know, like us, you know, so-called to be, you know, um, at the top of the food chain. OK, because right now, you know, the most side God is meek. He got us humble. But soon, you know, we're going to get that, that, you know, the ultimate power. Soon the Lord is going to turn us into hunters. OK, you know, as it says in the, in the book of Jeremiah 16, the Lord shall send for many fishers and then shall he send for many hunters. OK, so. Don't fret, you know, if people look, you know, look down upon you like you're nothing. OK, don't fret that people, you know, you know, probably don't take you serious. You know, don't look at you like you're anybody because, you know, the most high knows who you are. OK, because people out here, you know, on this side, 
you know they they look at you know the outward man okay but but the lord looks on the inward man which is the spirit okay <clears throat> this is the book of first corinthians chapter one and verse Let's see. First Corinthians 1 and 26, and it says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, right? Because the, the men that are out here of the world, you know, that are, you know, that, that may look mighty, that may seem mighty, you know, that are doing you know, uh, uh, you know, or, or should I say they have, you know, high status here in society, the Lord has not called them because, you know, they received the consolation. Okay. Like a Floyd Mayweather, for example, you know, the Lord is not about to call that dude. Okay. You know, because he, he has already received his piece of the pie here in Babylon. Okay. And that's why how should I say, woe well, to you who have received the consolation because, you know, we're supposed to be serving you by Shemal Shai. Okay. We're supposed to be you know, turning our turning our backs, to, you know, to this world, okay, and turning to you have about Shmuel Shai, but Jake, you know, they 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 rather sell out to Esau and you know and live a a lavish life that's vain, okay. But we're doing what Moses did, because Moses, rather him, you know, uh, uh continuing to live in, in the Pharaoh's house, he chose to live with we you know and, and suffer with his people. Rather than living, you know, the good life and, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and being, you know, wealthy and being rich and having, you know, fun, you know, while being, you know, under Pharaoh, you know, living with Pharaoh. OK, actually, let's get that real quick. OK. Uh, let me see. Uh, how is it worded? Um, suffer with his people. OK, this is. um. Hebrews 11. Give me one second. Hebrews 11 and verse 25. Okay, uh... 24 uh, Hebrews 11 and verse 24 and it says by faith Moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter re choosing rather to suffer affliction with his people excuse me to suffer affliction with the people of the most high who was his people okay because uh, because uh, Moses he you know uh, uh, he was uh, Moses is, is an Israelite okay Moses wasn't, you know, an, uh, an Egyptian, okay? Because Moses uh, got taken in by, um, uh, uh, by, uh, damn, who who took uh, Moses? I believe it was uh, um, his, um, damn, who's Mo damn, who Moses taking? I believe, excuse me, who did take him? Who did, who took in Moses, man? Oh man, um, I believe it was the Pharaoh's sister. Okay, I should know this. Excuse me, the daughter of Pharaoh. Okay, Pharaoh's daughter took him in. Okay, to like it about that. All right, so back in Hebrews 11 and 24, it says, By faith, Moses, when he was coming years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, right? Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, right? So, Pharaoh, um, so Pharaoh, excuse me, not Pharaoh, so Moses. You know, uh, uh, he chose to suffer affliction with, you know, with his people, the Israelites, rather than, you know, being called, you know, the uh, the son of Pharaoh's daughter, you know, that took him in. OK. And it says, verse 26, and it says, esteeming the approach, excuse me, esteeming the reproach of Yahweh Shai Mashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Right, man. So. You know, uh, uh, you know, the riches 
that we're going to gain from Yahweh Shai is greater, is greater than the riches that Esau can give you here in Babylon, here in uh, spiritual Egypt. OK, and going back to, you know, uh, the point about, you know, a, a mighty man, a, a, a man that's noble not being called because they got the consolation. All right. You know, they're not going to, you know, turn their back on this world because they gain so much in this world. That's why that's why the scriptures say it's hard for a rich man to, to uh, enter in, into the kingdom of the most high because they have gained, you know, everything, if you will, on this side. Like Floyd Mayweather, you know, Floyd Mayweather going back to him, case in point. He got, you know, a, a millions, billions, you know, and you think he's going to give that up so easily? Hell no, man. You know, he's comfortable. He's content, you know, so he's not going to do that. But that's why the Lord chose us, you know, the ones that despise, you know, the average Joes, the, the you know, the uh, the, the uh, underdogs, okay, to push his word, okay? That's why we were called, okay? And that's why the Lord has, uh, uh, you know, chose us, you know, out the world, all right, to push his word and push his gospel, okay? So back in the book of 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 26, and it says, uh, for you see your calling brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, right? But the most high have chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, right? So, you know, like, for example, you know, um, I remember one time when we were at camp, all right, and it was this, uh, this history teacher, this is, a, a, you know, a, 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 like 2018, 17, I believe. And, um, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shem Rakakodash, you know, we, you know, we schooled him. You know, you know uh, he didn't know that Alexander the Great was in the Bible. You know, he didn't know that, that Xerxes was in the Bible. You know, so, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, we were teaching him, you know, but, but, but here it is, you know, he's a history teacher, you see? So the, so the Lord has chose the things that are, you know, the men that are so-called, that are despised and that are weak, you know, in this world, you know, to confound the things that are mighty and that are and, and people that, that are wise, you see? And that's all done through the Holy Spirit, man. Okay. And it says, uh, and the most high have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised have the most high chosen, right? So the most high chosen, the ones that are despised, the ones that are, you know, uh, um, looked down upon. Okay, and that's why this lesson is titled um, "How is He Number Among the Saints?" Because people people think that you know um, us being so called minorities, if you will, are not going to you know uh, obtain anything, are not going to you know you know reach you know uh, uh, glory and you know uh, 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 um, victory. Okay, but we know that us serving the Lord and us keeping our eyes on the prize that we're going to obtain everything. You know, we're going to get everything that, you know, that the Lord has promised us. Okay. So that's why, you know, we're doing this work to make our calling and election sure. You see, and it says, yay, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his, in his presence. All right. That was the point right there. You know, so yeah, man, you know, um, we almost home. You know, Esau's done, Babylon's done, you know, and, and we are uh, uh, seeing privacy unravel right before our very own eyes, man. Okay, and, and, and meanwhile, people are still scoffing, calling us bums, calling us weak. You know, people despise us, man. You know, but guess what? They despise Yahweh Shai, you know, and that's why the, that's why Yahweh Shai said, um, uh, blessed, uh, blessed are you when men shall speak bad of you. Okay. So, hey, man, call all you have about Shema Shai, about Shirin Kakodash. All right. So, with that being said, I just want to say, call him La, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kakodash, double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do uh, that do rule and teach well. All right. And Lord's will, you, uh, the sheep of the Lord was uh, edified. And with that being said, Shalom.